The Great Reset, take one. In a bleak future scenario, we find 100% implementation of share economy serfdom, corporate slash state controlled blockchain ID credentials, fully integrated individual physical GPS and communications tracking, massive censorship, gatekeeping of digital information, greater concentration of wealth among corporate slash state controllers of digital systems, data, physical property, soft social credit system for Western nations, Soft mandatory vaccination, two-tier society, vaccination status, segregated and enforced via GPS slash comms tracking. In a bright future scenario, we find greater decentralization of means of production, legal services for entrepreneurial and economic renaissance, greater decentralization of the global financial system, increase in individual financial sovereignty, greater decentralization of digital information, Greater availability of financial slash legal services for the third world, spurring an economic boom, decreasing corruption. Blockchain-based voter ID system, ensuring security of elections in all democratic nations. Supply chain slash manufacturing improvements, approaching 100% efficiency. Global economic boom, leading to universally raised standard of living. The Great Reset, take two. The Great Reset will be a nightmare for individuals who are aware of our society. We are already living in this dystopian future. We always think that we will be living in one, but fail to recognize that we ourselves are actually in one right now. If you were to bring people back from the past into our time period, they would be horrified by what they are witnessing. To people who don't see anything wrong in our society right now, they will enjoy the Great Reset. Predictions for the next 50 years. Number one, UBI will be a thing, powered by blockchain technology. Every single US born individual will have a unique address. This will vary from city to city. There will be a waiting list to live in other cities for those dependent on UBI. Number two, people will be entirely isolated from each other. One of the major forms of communication will be through video. Number three, information is going to get even harder to find. Reports that contradict from what's being pushed in the mainstream media will be suppressed. Number four, people will not have ownership of most products. It will be subscriptions and rentals. We will not have trackers because everybody already carries a smartphone. What they'll do is have some incentive chips that will lower our insurances and allow for more government assistance and access to rewards. It will keep track of our bodies. Our visits to the health clinic will be nothing more than a cattle, sorry, car diagnostics check. The Great Reset, take three. There are 150, and they're all men, that run the world, period, full stop. They control most of the important assets. They control the money flows. And these are not the tech entrepreneurs. Now, they, they are going to get rolled over over the next five to 10 years by the people that are really underneath pulling the strings. And when you get behind the curtain and see how that world works, what you realize is it is unfairly set up for them and their progeny. If the elite plutocrats, who Tramat is referring to here, had their way, the masses would have no property rights, the masses would all be chipped and living space-efficient commie pods in the city, the masses would have their procreation regulated, the masses would have their food regulated, ideally a diet of bugs and soy with less meat, of course. The masses would be treated as cattle. Any effort by the WHO, WEF, W whatever organization is geared towards this effort. And that's all you really need to know. Cut! 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 Of course, take three seems too far-fetched. It implies the world is run by a small group of psychopaths. I'm sure Snopes already debunked that conspiracy theory. WEF, WHO, on the topic of W organizations, WWE, what does this stand for? Of course, World Wrestling Entertainment. I'd like to highlight another W organization in the entertainment industry. WPE, World Politics Entertainment. Politics is just entertainment. Nothing more, nothing less. Divide and conquer, a ruse. Presidents are selected, not elected. The last true president was JFK. The end. Oh, Merry Christmas.